What is up, guys? So here I have a very basic Excel spreadsheet that I made for you guys. We're going to call this the Guido Stacking 2020 Stacking Regimen. And basically, I came up with this idea. I had asked you guys about a day ago, how much do you spend in a week on precious metals? We got over 300 votes, and 60% of those votes basically said that they spend less than $50 a week on precious metals. So what I've done here is I budgeted $35 a week for 2020 for you guys. And another thing that I wanted to do kind of do with this is a, basically get you guys to accumulate some gold. I've noticed that a lot of us in this community basically say they can't accumulate gold. They have trouble budgeting. They have trouble pulling the trigger, buying some gold. So the main focus on 2020 is to accumulate some gold. And if you follow this regiment, obviously you don't have to follow it to the T, but if you follow it pretty closely, you will end up with a little bit over half an ounce of gold. As you can see here, 15.5 grams of gold. Um, and I've also put here how much you're spending on that gold. So $800 you're going to be spending on that gold. So that's for anybody that wants to maybe buy a little bit less gold. Maybe half an ounce is too much. You want to buy a little more silver than gold. Uh, you have $800 to play with. And you can do it um, following this regimen here. But sometimes... It's easier to set goals when you can actually see the finish line. So uh, if you follow this and basically tell yourself, I'm going to save up $35 a week, you will end up with $1,600.80 invested in precious metals, about 41 ounces of silver and half an ounce of gold. And like I said, you could tweak this as you want. Um, I just really wanted to show you guys because I think if you see it, and see the potential for 2020 in front of you that um, you could really just uh, kill it this year. So another thing before I start getting into this that I want to mention um, is if you look through your debit card transactions or your credit card transactions, I guarantee you can find little things, little habits, spending habits that you have where you can save a little bit of extra cash per week or even per month. So if you do that, and I've done this before, you go through there and you're like, holy cow, I've actually spent a lot of money on coffee this year. Maybe I could cut it down. You buy coffee four or five times a week. Maybe you could cut it down to two, three times a week and basically do the math and see how much you would actually save and put that money into precious metals. It makes a huge difference. We have so many spending habits that we don't even pay attention to. It's pretty crazy. You got a Netflix you barely use, a Hulu account you barely use, uh, Apple Music you barely use. You're a smoker. You spend $2,000 on cigarettes a year. Maybe try and cut down this year and save some money there. So um, that's something that I would also do ahead of 2020 and, you know, to really help you get achieve your stacking goals for this year. So with that being said, guys, let's get into it. I chose $35 a week because you guys, the majority said that you spend less than 50 a week. So I wanted to come up with a reasonable number that a lot of you guys could relate to. So $35 a week. A uh, couple things I want to point out. I have, these are all quotes. Obviously, we don't know what silver is going to be, you know, mid-2020. We don't know what it's going to be towards the end of 2020. We don't know what it's going to do. So, and obviously the same for gold. So I just basically put my best guess as uh, to how much these pieces of silver and gold are going to cost. Uh, another thing, if you really want to do this, um, this is how you can budget for gold. And you need to be diligent and responsible because if you notice here, you're going to be left over some cash every month that's going to be rolled over into the next month. And that's the only way budgeting $35 a week that you will be able to accumulate a decent amount of gold so all right let's get into it 140 dollars a month and you will have a half an ounce of gold by the end of the year should you follow this so as you can see here i basically guessed 25 dollars per ounce on this and we're going to start the year off real slow with silver we're going to buy three ounces of silver 
at $25 a piece. So I included a little bit of a premium on that, obviously. So maybe some collectible pieces or maybe some eagles a little bit, you know, cheaper than $25. Who knows? But I guessed 25 Then we go to February. And now we're buying another three ounces of silver. That's another 75 bucks. But at the end of the month, you're going to have $130 left over to roll into March. Where you're going to buy your first piece of gold for 2020. And I have all these set up. As you can see, after the first two months, months you're going to be alternating between gold and silver and buying one tenth ounce pieces of gold. And like I said, if you are, if you believe that you can be responsible, you could actually not buy any precious metal for the month and basically save all these 160s for one tenth ounce of gold and buy a quarter ounce or a half ounce. I mean, it's really up to you how you want to do it and you got to be responsible and not touch that leftover money but if you know yourself and you know you're gonna spend it so um, I try not to leave too much money hanging around at the end of the month with you guys um, then this is what you're, you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to buy these one tenth ounce 3.1 grams of gold um, into the stack 15.5 at the end of the year so all right so that's your first one then we move on to April you're going to buy a $200 piece of 10 ounce silver right here. So like I said, these are all quotes. I quoted uh, the one tenth ounce at 160, 10 ounce bar at 200. So 10 ounce bar, you're going to get 10 ounces of silver for the month of April. That's going to leave you with 30, I'm sorry, $50 at the end of the month. So May, we turn around and we buy our second piece of gold. One tenth ounce for 160. That's going to leave you with $30 left over on the month. Another 3.1 grams to the stack. Now we're going over to June where you're going to buy a five ounce bar for 100 bucks. I quoted the five ounce bar at 100 bucks. So as you can see, I also wanted to get some variety going. Um, these are, you know, maybe you could buy some semi numismatic coins right here. However, you want to do it. But whatever's left over. You want to make sure you put it in here, and that is when you're going to hit it big at the end of the year. So you want to make sure that you're not spending whatever's left over. That's the whole point. All right, now we're going to July. You're going to buy another one-tenth ounce. After buying that one-tenth ounce, uh, you are going to have $50 left over. We're going to August. You're going to buy another five ounces. And here, as you can see, maybe not a bar, but maybe some numismatic coins again. Maybe some eagles, however you want to do it. But five ounces is what I have set up for August. And you're going to have $65 left over. September, we're doing gold again. 160 for another one tenth ounce. Getting close to that half ounce goal. We got $45 left over to roll into October. October did the same thing as in August. I quoted silver at $25, uh, five of them. So once again, you could either buy numismatics or eagles or something close to spot, however you want to do it. There's some money, there's wiggle room on these 25 right here, these quotes. There's some wiggle room in there. So you can do whatever you want and just make sure, like I said, if there's anything left over, you roll that over. So another five ounces to the stack for 2020 in October. November, we got gold, 160, uh, and that will fin finally complete your half ounce of gold in November. And then December, we are going to crush it. Whatever's left over, you are just going to buy. And here I just have, um, I'm going to assume that there's going to be a little bit mo more money that I have quoted here left over at the end of the year in December. So I put another 10 ounce bar or 10 ounces of silver however you want to do it so that's it guys if you follow this exactly you'll end up with 41 ounces of silver and half an ounce of gold but once again if you want to lean a little bit more towards silver you have $800 in gold that you can play with if you want to spend half of that you can put the other 400 into more silver however you want to do it whatever goals you you're setting up for yourself 
you have that other 800 to play with. Um, so, yeah. But when everything's said and done, $1,600, $1,680 will be invested in gold and silver for the end of 2020. So, it's going to be a good year for precious metals. I wish you guys all luck. And thank you so much for watching. Let me know if this helps you and what your stacking strategy is for 2020. In the meantime, guys, make sure you like the video and you subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later.